G'day guys, I'm home again. Oh, can't tell you how good a feeling it is to be home. Oh, you know, it's been a couple of weeks at work and all you want to do is get home when you finally do get home, you just instantly relax. So good. But I got no milk. So heading out to go get some milk. So I need coffee. I might even get myself a decent one while I'm out there. But I'm gonna go check out the beach. I want to see what the water's doing today. Um, I've just got my brand new fish ski box. Uh, it's the fish ski 68 deluxe. So it's got your fuel jerry cans, it's got six rod holders. I'll do a bit of a bio on it later. Um, I do need to make some modifications to it though because although my ski, you gotta watch out for these crazy drivers around here. Who'd have thought? So, because my ski didn't come out with the link system, but I wanted the ability to be able to put a jerry can on the back of it, you can actually get the mounts that you can mount onto the back of the ski um, to be able to put you know, your, your smaller link uh, accessories from sea -Doo. So I got them to put the, um, the link receptacle side of things or um, adapters on the back of the ski uh, when I picked it up. Um, problem is with the fish ski, the way or where the uh, where the adjustable feet um, are positioned, they are basically right on top of where I've got the link mounts. Now, because the link mounts are also drilled into the hull, I'm not keen on removing those and having holes there that I've got to plug and yada 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 yada. So, I was going to make a couple of quick little adjustments to the feet and sort of spread them out a little bit further. They need to be, I think it's about 70 mil wider. I've done some quick quick measurements this morning. So, um, yep, stay tuned for that. I'll do a quick little video on that a bit later on. But for now, it's coffee and beach time. Whoa, oh, a bit fresh this morning. Whew. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be putting the skiing later today. A bit cold now, though. Oh, good coffee. Whew. Yeah, it's cold. I mean, it is winter, but oh, all right. Time to go home with the coffee. Uh, I've got to stop past Bunnings, grab a few bits and pieces, and make some modifications to the bottom of the fish gear boxes. So that's gonna, I'm getting out of here. Um, just so it's gonna mount up properly. Oh, that's bright. So stay tuned. And yeah. Go and try your luck. Test me in again. We let it rain. Kids don't start us up. Got that black and white. They ain't game. Mr. Officer, please don't search us. We don't got a thing. Tell her park it up. Then that ass be poking up. Them jeans up and sparking up. Like the fireworks. I keep the flame. Well, we're back at home. Um, I've got the fish ski box here now. Uh, I've taken off those, uh, the adjustable feet mounts. So, uh, they just. They've got, they've got uh, six screws that sort of screw in through the bottom of them. You see the holes through there. Uh, it just forms the adjustable feet side of things. You've got your little adjuster in there, sort of pushes up and down so you can adjust it. I'll show you in another video, well, a little bit later on at least. Um, so yeah, there's, there's your two rod holders on the front. You've got the ratchet system, you've got the gaff. Two on one side, and the other two rod holders on the other side. And your two five litre jerrys there. So, the issue that I've got is the fact that with my ski, as I said before, my, my ski's a 2017 model. So after that, I think it was 18 and onwards, possibly 19 and onwards, they, uh, they came out with the link attachments already built in. I got these ones put on so that I could put the, um, I could put a jerry can there if I wanted to or I could put the small box there, uh, or a bag or whatever, whatever other, you know, sea -Doo link accessories they do. Um, that's great if I'm not going fishing, but I want something that I can use when I'm going fishing, so that's why I bought the fish ski box. Um, it's wicked, I love it. 
Um, haven't actually used it yet, so hopefully this afternoon I'll be able to get out and and um, and test it out. So, like I said, I've already taken off the mounts on the back, underneath. So, I'll just put you guys there. I'll lean this esker back and show you what's going on underneath. Right, okay. So, what we've actually got, this is where the feet, the adjustable feet system uh, actually mounts onto. So this is one of the adjustable feet uh, or legs that's sort of in position at the moment. As you can see, I've already taken out the, uh, the tech screws that hold it in. Um, once I did that, it sort of pulled over to one side and the glue sort of released. Um, look, it was stuck on quite well. It wasn't, wasn't meant to be coming off, that's for sure. But um, as I said, with my ski, having the link attachments that I've put on there uh, for when I'm not going fishing, I'm just going for a bit of a squirt, uh, going out for the day, a bit of fun. Um, I can take the, the fish ski box off and leave it at home. Um, now I'm not saying I wouldn't be able to do that stuff with this fish ski box on, but I don't know. Why? I, I, don't, I don't see the reason to have it there the whole time if I'm not using it. Uh, might be handy for some things, but uh, it's all good. I like a bit of flexibility being able to take it on or put it on and take it off when I want to. So anyway, these are where the, uh, the screw holes are from, uh, from the guys at Fish Ski when they installed the feet. So we'll get rid of this old glue. Um, I'll clean off all these sort of burrs here from the plastic that was there originally. I've already marked out where I need the new holes. So two there, two there, and two there. And um, I've got to mark it up on this side. But what I've done is I need approximately 480 mil between the two feet. So between this one and that one there, I need to have 480 mil. And that 480 mil is just slightly wider from the outside point to there and to the outside point there. So that'll just give me plenty of space. All right, only a few more to go. So, tell me your thoughts about these fish ski boxes. If you've uh, if you've got one yourself, um, if you know people that have one, what are their thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and see how this thing goes this afternoon, and I reckon I reckon it'd be great. All right, so both the um, adjustable feet are securely mounted onto the bottom of the fish ski box. Um, I've just adjusted this, just adjusted this, uh, this, this little foot here out by 50 mil using the old Mark 1 eyeball and a 6 inch rule. So I'll do the same on the other side. So, so looking down over the top, with my calibrated eye, of course. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got nearly there. It's about 50 mil there. Lock it off with the locking nut. Thanks. All right, let's give them a back. There we go. Now we're looking there. Touch. So what the guys at Fish Gate said was, if you look at the videos, when you're adjusting the feet on the bottom of the fish key box, you sort of want to have these lines here sort of level with the line on there. Well, you just blow your gun there to clear it out. So I'm going to have to adjust it up a little bit further and get it sitting a little bit further level. So this is where you need to adjust it. So you sort of lifting the box up a little bit and wind that uh wind that bugger out place him down 
and um, you need to do the other side of course but have a look and then see again how those lines there match up with the line on on this yeah g'day guys um, so the fish ski esky is now officially mounted properly on the ski <laughs> so on my way down now to um, see what I can see what I can catch um, trying to target some squid this afternoon just off Garden Island uh, I've already been into a complete a complete angler and camping world in Rockingham there you go I've got it so complete angler and camping world Rockingham uh, been in there saw the guys in there saw Matt um, he's uh, sort him out with a couple of squid jigs that, uh, that were sort of suggested to me for, for the area that I'm going out to um, yeah let's let's get out there and see what we can manage to bring home well g'day guys we're back out fishing all right so <laughs> just been to um, complete angler and camping world in Rockingham and I've got a couple more little squid jigs this one here little lemon lemon meringue he was um, he was highly suggested so we'll give that a go and see how we go so I've got the fish ski esky on the back now it's great it's so handy I love it all right Let's go for a flick and see what we can get. Come on, squiddy, squiddy, squiddy. Jetty, uh, Coburn uh, Power Boats Club. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna head out today. Go out sort of around the top end of Garden Island and um, see what we can grab. So I've got everything ready here for squid fishing and uh, hopefully maybe some snapper, maybe some skippy. Wait and see. All right, let's uh, let's get out there. Let's send it across.
sucker out. Holy shit! You've seen I've just finished editing uh, that last trip I did out on the ski. So yes, I did catch something. Well, technically I hooked up on it and I got it to the top, but it didn't actually stay. It flicked off right at the top as I was fumbling around trying to get the gaff organized. I didn't have a fishing net. So as you saw, it got away. Uh, I did go and get a, a couple of squid for the afternoon. Didn't get any video footage of that. My SD card was full and my battery was starting to go flat and it just, it wasn't gonna work out. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos to come. I've just got myself the new Rhino Rack uh, Pioneer platform. So I'm just putting that together. Um, I'll have some video footage of that coming out real soon. All right, stay tuned guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching your video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like and subscribe button to keep up to date with future videos.